How does the fresh Prince of Bel Air thing go? It's like, I'd like to take a minute. Something upside down. Or something like that. I don't know. But the Stone Tower Temple is upside down. So hello and welcome back to LP's LP's. Today, we're continuing our adventure in Majora's Mask. Obviously with the inverted Stone Tower Temple. Uh, I think we might actually beat the temple this, this episode. I'm not certain. As you can see, there's like a huge swath of, of chests for us to find. And we're not missing a whole lot of fairies, nor are we missing any of the items, I think. So I'm not certain what all those chests will have. Yeah, so eh, I guess we were halfway through the fairies, so we're still missing seven. And I suppose we are missing the boss key. Now, why did I feel like we got the boss key last time? Yeah, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, I recently moved. I'm sure some of you are aware of that, but I packed up all of my stuff. I do not have the, uh, the controllers box presently where we're at right now because we haven't gotten a place yet. We're staying at a condo. Anyways, long story short, the controllers that I do have available to boot to me are somewhat damaged. Uh, <laughs> you get it told there easily enough by my uh, plummeting to my death, uh, it kind of pulls left. Also, hence why it gave me the ice arrows there instead of the light arrows, which are what we need to get rid of the uh, the sunblock. You'd see the, the, the sunblock, light. It's not a nice block, all right, as much as I'd like that. Now what, uh, we were over here, weren't we? We were, we were. Did we go up already? Yeah, okay, so what we need to do, we need to re-invert it. That makes sense. Uh, there, there's things we can do now that we have the light arrows. Uh, and I think, yeah, we can, we can plummet to our demise again, of course. Okay, now that this is all reverted, is that what I'm looking for? I don't know. Now that we're back right side up, at least from the original, we can kind of poke around here. Which is where I want to be? I don't know. There's a chest that's on the friggin' ceiling! That's not gonna help me now, so it looks like I'm going to have to flip it again. Gosh darn it. But at least now I have the light arrows and I can run around and shoot things and play my ocarina and get assaulted again. You too? No. All right, Beavis, you go to sleep. We're going to shoot this wall here. It's already been shot. The guy's very happy. Never mind. This is what I was talking about, because now we can open up this pathway. And I'm actually, uh, upon arrival, a little less certain that it's a pathway and more certain that it's just a route to $20. Hmm. You know, if we could, if we could buy stray fairies for twenty dollars, that'd be fine. Oh wait, there is a chest here. Get out of here! I'm gonna floss this dude's teeth. I just just want the chest, buddy. I don't even want to barter with you or anything. I don't want to hurt you, although you're going to force me to. Uh, you are. You have fudged the bucket and told me too many words to know. All right, we're going to bomb you. Here it is. Boom. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good night, sweet prince. And you left me your explosive interior, too. Very nice. Fairy? Fairy! This is your ninth one. Excellent. Six more. I think there, in, there might actually be another one in here. Yeah, there's another... Well, maybe that's just the switch that brought that open. I don't know. Either which way, we can don our super sweet Zora mask here to go over there and figure it out, God willing, right? Like I mentioned, controller issues. Man, I died like six times. Okay, great. Th this will happen too. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine because this is where we want to be anyways now that we can launch this right here. And I guess we'll have to do a sweet little hop over. Although, do we even need to? Do, do we even need to? Because I already hit that switch. I hit it with a bomb. So maybe that's not the case. It does say that there is a chest in the center of the room, though. Though that might be something for uh, the inverted side, I'd have to imagine. Oh well, while we're here, let's just get our, get our gills wet and check this out. No, 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 we don't need to be under that. Go this way here. 
And can we make this jump? Oh god, no, way, way bad. The brain trauma that we're putting Link through is uh, a little much. Thankfully, he was never, uh, you know, a super smart boy to begin with, right? Wow, I don't know if I can actually do that. We're gonna get grabbed by the Dexy hand again, of course. Could you toss me a little that way? You know, actually, I'm just, forget it. Forget it, this is not the way we need to go. I'm just gonna move on and blow myself up in the process. Goodness gracious, it's excellent. Why don't we go under the Dexy hand? God, there we go, if we could, thank you. And we'll just kind of explore and see if there's anything else that we can use our powers for. No, we're already back on this side of the temple. I could have just gone the quick way. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to invert the temple again and see what that does for us. Hello. Okay, I just walked, I feel like I did this. I feel like I'm, I'm I'm redoing progress, gosh darn it. I, uh, I, <laughs> oh, I don't know. This episode has not obviously aired yet since I'm recording it, but the prior episode, the episode right before this, has not yet aired either. I haven't had, I gotten a chance to rewatch it since I recorded it prior to moving, so I'm not really certain what exactly happened. But this all seems very familiar. You got a key. Yeah, this is happening. Wait a minute. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Of course it's happened. I've been playing from the wrong friggin' save file. Okay, now I am in the correct spot. Save states, goodness gracious. They're amazing when you use them correctly, of course. Uh, in Things have been reinverted. We're underwater, as you can tell, and we're pushing this button. Ah, and that brings a chest there so that when we reinvert it, of course, it's going to be surrounded by flames, but we will be able to cool those flames off with the switch and then get it. Awesome. And that's presumably a fairy as well. What about these over here? The, oh, wow. The force that we just bounced off that wall with. That was kind of crazy. Fairies? That is magic. That is magic. Yes. Oh, 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 it's magic. It blows. I wish it was a fairy. Okay, uh, I don't think there's... Well, there's some pots. I was going to say I don't think there's anything else for us here, and there probably isn't anything exciting, but just for the sake of my curiosity, yeah, nothing. Okay. Now we can get out, and I'm going to check the map real quick once we do. We have four fairies that we need. We're close, dude. We're close. I see five chests. Yeah, a wide difference from where I uh, thought I was at the beginning of the episode. That didn't feel right to me. It probably didn't feel right to you either, but hey, again, these things happen. <laughs> uh, anyways, I guess we can come back and get the chest in this room right now. Boom. Put the fire out. Call Link the Fireman because that is his name. He's got many names. All right, the Hero of Time, Fairy Boy, Chimichanga. He's truly a man of many titles. Either which way, we're getting closer to the end here. And once we are able to get this chest, which I presume is a fairy, of course, there's a possibility that it's not because there's still yet four more chests for us to get. That's going to be the next goal. Uh, we're going to go, I guess, to the center room. It says that there's one also in the very front room. And I feel like we've already gotten a good handful there. We're coming backwards. That's fine. That worked out greatly. Uh, yeah, there's, there's one in the front room and then three more in the center most room. You come here, fairy. Twelve fairy. All right, let's, let's confirm what I just told you. It says there's still one chest in this room. Ah, uh, that's weird. That's real weird. I don't like that at all. Um, that makes me really uncomfortable. And it's like right on top of us too, which is strange. Okay, so there's uh, the one chest all the way to the left. 
Okay. I think I actually know how to get that one. Uh, then there's, yeah, three chests kind of central. So how do we actually get over there? Do we need to... We need to go left, it looks like. And then go down once we get all the way over there. Oh gosh, this is going to be a process. We're going to figure it out. So we need to go in that room. Can we jump over into the ghost? We can. Very good. Now just avoid the spiky balls of death. So we might, you know, maintain all of our limbs here. Do I need to do something about this? I forget. Is this open down here? No, we can just... Wait, no, we can't. We do have to flip it. Okay. Okay. Um, these things? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I have a hard enough time remembering what I ate for breakfast. I have a hard enough time remembering to feed the cat. I can hardly remember all the things I accomplished in the last uh, Majora's Mask episode I recorded, which at this point was like a month ago since I was preparing for the move and everything. So I know we need this. We gotta... Roll on over there. Excuse me. It's kind of in a nice little bath. Very good. Okay. Uh, maybe I should keep the light arrows out instead of the bunny hood. As much as I like going fast, Ricky Bobby sure would be proud. Uh, it makes more sense, I think, to keep out uh, the items that I'm using on a uh, regular basis. Specifically, the light arrows. I seem to use those quite a lot. Can I come through? Thank you. Oh, yes. The delicious Chew Boys, isn't it just wonderful? Thankfully, we don't actually need to do the flippy thing anymore. Mr. Jello Monster here is gonna toss me off the friggin' thing. See you later. You guys stay down there and remain gelatinous, my friends. That. So, can we go down? Is this. Is this a down? It looks like we could. What happens if we do? We die. Okay. Great. <laughs> Not at all what I was hoping to, to accomplish. Uh, how do we get up there? We have to flip it somehow, don't we? There's lava everywhere. Where is the... There is no the... There's a chest up there. I guess the hook shot it is. Bring that out. This is starting... No. No, I'd rather not be burned. Thank you. This is starting to... To worry me. I, excuse me, I, I understand, you know, that I'm not wearing a whole lot of clothes. I'm wearing a skirt, for goodness sakes. But I assure you, I do not need a personal fireplace on my forehead like that. And that, that hook shot went right through the chest. Did you see that? That's on it. Maybe if we approach it from a different angle, maybe from the side, we'll have better luck. And that way we can at least grab, like, the base of it here. There we go. That's exactly what the doctor ordered, and this will let us go down. Now hold up, let's let's take a, take a gander here. There's a chest in this very room. There's also a Poe. We're just gonna have to ask you to get out of here. Forget it. We won't even bother with you. We're just going to put on our Deku face so that we can hopefully cruise on through here. No, don't. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Dude, no, okay? I'm gonna get here in my plant. I'm gonna leave me alone. Ooh, I'm gonna kill you with my flowers. Goodness gracious, who knew? Who knew? Light arrows? No, not effective against ghosts. Are you kidding me? Plants, yes. Rub a little flowers on your ghost problems and you'll be all right. So if we go... Oh, I'm gonna have to go to the right. This is not something that I have done. Get out of here. Don't touch me, all right? I've got flowers. I've got flowers, all right? What do you know about that, huh? Flowers! Yeah, two for one special. Watch out there, Larry. I definitely didn't go this way. Oh, God. Excuse me. Don't don't smash me, please. I'm... Oh! 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 You're trying to smash me! I, 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 thought I thought I told you about the smashing. There's the chest. Probably gonna need light arrows to deal with these big blocky boys. And then we're going to obviously need to play the Elegy of Emptiness to hold this down. Maybe we don't need the light arrows because we don't actually need to kill those things, do we? Because this, yeah, this gets us the one chest. Can I play this song? No? No, maybe? There we go! Ah, oh, goodness me. So yeah, we don't, we don't have to eliminate these guys. Uh, we can just 
go grab what I hope is the 13th fairy. 13th fairy. 13th fairy, so close. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Watch out. All right, I have flowers, don't you know? When you hear from the, the ghost, the pose. Survey says it's not a fair, it's a key. It's a key. Oh, gosh, darn it. All right. <laughs> Don't celebrate here, apparently. It's frowned upon. So what is this? This is, oh, this is the first room. I see with the bomb chews and the, uh, the various switches. Oh, my goodness gracious. So how does one return over there? Do we jump? We do a sweet flip. Goodness gracious, Link. You'd think in an instance like this, you wouldn't be showboating so much, but gosh darn it, an athlete, right? If we come over here, there should be a chest in the center of the room, like all the way up there. Huh. Um, we already got the chest to the left. But we probably need to destroy these. I think we need the chest, to, or the little stopping point there, to actually be a... Uh, like a break, right? Because I don't think that the Deku flowers will last long enough for us to float on over to the other side. I mean, maybe they will, but I'd rather not take my chances, right? Like, there's kind of not a whole lot down there to catch. I mean, there's the sun. I don't want to land on the sun. Okay, dokey. Possessed pottery. Thank you very much. I just wanted to check to make sure that the chest on the ceiling had already been uh, checked out. Looks like it has. Okay, so we can move on. Again, barely going to make this. Wow. I mean, that, that was a little closer in the last one, but still stressful nonetheless. Again, chest in that room. Now let's check the map here. What are we doing? Uh, yeah, we've already been over here. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that. We need to go somewhere else entirely that I don't actually remember how to get to. Oh, I see. Well, thank you, Tattle, for going all the freaking way up there. Man, look! Can't you use the hook shot on that chest? Sure I could! But then I couldn't get the fairy inside, so let's flip this thing! Or at least I, I hope it's a fairy. It has to be a fairy, right? Like, it's not going to be a key. Uh, maybe it could be $20, which would be awfully lame. It is a fairy. Excellent. The 13th one. And just a quick double check. Yeah, the only things left. There's two chests. Two chests in the center, or like on the way to the boss. And then that one over there still, which I don't understand. I'm going back, back to check that out. Because why the heck not? I already have it, at least while it's flipped this way. And then if there's nothing that I can do, I'll get stabbed in the face by a friggin' dragonfly and break my back on the concrete below. Perfect. Thank you. No. What I was going to say is that if there's nothing for me to do over there, then I'll just flip the uh, the temple back again. Goodness gracious. I think this is like eight or nine times already at this point in time. But it's fine. Uh, we need to figure this out one way or another. And playing blind, what else can you do besides trial and error? So check this out. There is yet one more chest here. If I turn around, is there anything, anything, anything? Not up there. Unless the chest is on top of where that eyeball is. No, I don't think there is. You'd be able to see it. So it has to be down below, right? Like, but I was down there. I was pretty certain that I pressed the switch. We just dive a, a wee bit here. Oh, look at this. There is there is a chest right here. I'm getting eaten alive with a bonefish friggin' grill. But there's a chest. Please, let me... No, 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 no. I'm gonna go over here. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Gosh darn it. I will make a sandwich out of you. It'll be a bony Oh, it's a fairy. Wow. Glad I came back for that. We have one... One fairy left. <laughs> oh, I don't... Man, I hope... Ugh, this has been an exhausting... Well, exhausting is the wrong word, I think. Exhausting implies some sort of negativity, and that's certainly not how the experience has been for me. This has been a tedious episode. I understand tedious is probably not the most, uh, well, enjoyable of terms to put this in, but 
it has been tedious, right? Because we started off the episode uh, playing from a point in time which was not the correct point in time. <laughs> oh, it took me like 20 minutes to realize that, and of course I probably edited a lot of that out because it wouldn't make any sense to keep it in there and god i hope i edited it out at this point if i didn't then this is probably like a 35 minute episode and that's kind of long for this point in time 35 minutes is probably the max it should be at the end either which way like i said we went through a lot we flipped this temple on its head and feet again like 37 and a half times we're doing it again and we're gonna get the final fairy and go kill the freaking boss because i am itching with vengeance, all right? I am ready to take out my aggression on whoever is existing inside of this temple, right? Like, who is the wicked soul responsible for this? I mean, I get it. Skull Kid is the ultimate responsibility holder here, but still, there is some tormented soul. Of course, we, we're, we're actually saving them more than anything, but still, their comeuppance is coming up and... We're gonna get them. <laughs> oh, if we can get the the final fairy. God willing. All right, let's get the hook shot out. We know that's what we need. And Tattle, it'd be great if you could. There you go. No, not not yet close enough. Not yet close enough. I can't see. Tattle's just trying to kill me. She's like, look up here. Look up here, you're gonna fall off the freaking thing. That's not the right chest. I don't know why Link went to that. It wasn't even getting targeted by the fairy. This is great. Oh, no, come now, controller. <laughs> it's like, no, look to the left. You don't wanna go up there. But I, mm? but I do and I barely grab that, goodness me. All right, we're here. Anything else? Just a smiley, happy sun ready to greet us. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. The final key put in its hole. Some sort of hideous demon awaits us at the end. Why don't we whip out the light arrows? I mean, may maybe that's going to be helpful. There should be a chest in here. Oh, hello. You, you, oh, you got a laser. And I shot you right in the eyeball. Can I... Oh, no, 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 no. Thank God for invisible walls. What happened there? Not sure. Uh. Okay, you need two of them to hurt him. We're out of magic. We're out of magic. This is very ideal. Yeah, this is exactly what the doctor friggin' ordered. Just, dude, open up. Okay, this is not, not great not great at all. I don't have any sort of potion or anything either. Oh, keep your eyeball open, buddy. No, not like that. You're going to force me to die. And I don't really... Oh, why does it go away, the Z target? All right, do your little thing. It's not helping. It's not helping. I need to leave and come back with magic. Gosh darn it. Can I can I get the magic that's right below me? Am I going to plummet to my death? Maybe. Uh, no, just broke my ankles. Excellent. Who needs ankles anyway? Nobody needs ankles to save the world. Nobody needs friggin' magic either. Throat in the abyss, huh? Thanks for that. Uh, hopefully this is enough. Well, I guess there are a few other crates on this side of the room, right? Maybe these have magical... And green apple Kool-Aid? No, they got hearts. I'll take hearts. And of course, if we just leave the room, it will refresh the boxes, right? Everybody knows that, that boxes, yeah, they're, they're like fung- Oh, God. Boxes. <laughs> boxes are like fungus. You know, you, you leave one somewhere and more will just pop up out of the earth. Nobody truly knows how it happens, but it's fine, all right? Because they hold the magic that we need to kill whatever the heck that thing was. Uh, maybe a, an idea also would be to use Tattle to tell me what that thing is. Can we hit it from here? No, I didn't think so. Get up, go away. You're gonna kill me. I need you to not thank you. Okay, we are almost falling off. And where was it that we needed to be? It's like right here. 
believe. Yeah, this is close. Close enough, right? Yes, excellent. Now if we can just maintain our balance, Linko. Very good. Now we are equipped to deal with the freaking menace that is this. Igor. Igor? Didn't you help create Frankenstein? Simply attacking it is no good. I say you should pay attention to the subtle changes in its eye. The subtle changes. By subtle, you mean freaking lasers firing out of it. I don't know how subtle that is. Good. And do it again. And no, no, no. Don't then at me. Do it again. Yes. Very good. So we were one short last time. And we get the chest that's showcased on the map as a reward. As well as access to the end. What do we have here? Oh, this is a big... I thought this was the final fairy. It's not the final fairy. It is the giant's mask. That's right. That's right. The necessary item to beating this boss. I had forgotten about that, but it makes sense because I remember being being huge. <laughs> Don't exactly remember or didn't re Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Didn't remember exactly how that happened. Let's just go over here and smack this light which spawns a chest on the freaking ceiling. Of course it does. Man, we're going to flip this thing upside down again. All righty. Now we can check the chest. Fairy, please, fairy. Yes, we have found all the fairies. My freaking goodness. And we also got like 30 singles and a regular fairy too. Uh, hold up. Let's just take, take, take you with. No. No, no take with us. Alrighty. No more chests. We have cleared out the Stone Tower Temple, and as such, the next thing on our list is to get, yep, impaled by wood again. Great. No, let's, let's do another hook shot. Tattle, thank you for your uh, aptitude there in sourcing wood for me. Uh, this is going to push me off. Do I do a backflip? No, I do a face plant. Very, very, very good. Very good. What if we did something like... Oh, God. Can we... Oh, it's got to be close. There we go. <laughs> very good. We are here. There's also a BMO who wants to hang out, but we say no. We say we're going in the big door. So I want to put on the big mask and make Link the big boy. We can kill us a big demon. There's a big worm, actually, if I remember correctly. It's like Dune. And here we are. What's the name of this hideous beast? This pest? The giant centipede. There's two of them. The giant masked insect twin mold. That's right. So, if I remember correctly, using the giant's mask drains our magic power. Uh, what do you have to say? Oh, no, nope, it's, it's gone. I want to... I need to study the worm, though. Don't, no, don't. Gee, me, blah, at least it only did three quarters of a heart. Just its head and tail aren't protected by its hard exoskeleton. So aim carefully. If only you were the same size as it. If only! You know, what about this nifty mask? Boom. Huge. It'd be, it'd be real neat, IMO, if we turned into, like, a huge, like, creature or whatever, like, with this face, but it's just the giant. Just do the spin attacks. Not hitting the tail there. Oh, we hit the face, we hit the face, we hit the face. <laughs> Running out of magic, but it's fine. We're going to... Get the tail eventually. Where are you going? Come here. Oh, we can get the tail when it comes out, maybe. Oh, God. Give me here, tail. No? No tail for me? Okay. Right here. Right here. The tail's gonna come by us, and we're gonna miss it. Great. Oh, uh, where's the tail? These, these worms are far longer than they, than they seem to be, or at least than I expect them to be like when they're digging back oh we're breaking the rocks when they're diving back underwater or under 
the sand. Oh, one's dead. One's dead. That's good. You know, it's a twin mold. We're, we're only, you know, halfway there, but still. I'll take halfway. Can I have some magic out of that, perhaps? Out of your, your big magical face? No? Nothing of the sort. All right. Where's... Where's Trump? There you are! There's nothing... No, like, pots or anything either. Nothing to help us in the way of items. I was thinking that the, uh... Like, the stone sculptures that we're destroying would potentially help us, but... Alas, that's not the case. Oh! Baby, we did it first try. Look at that. I thought for certain that I was going to run out of magic with the giant's mask and have to... Do some sort of, you know, Shadow of the Colossus maneuvering as little boy Link here, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Can I just stay giant forever now? This would be a great way to go catch the moon, you know? I could just go up there, put my giant forehead to forehead with the moon itself, and say, hey, buddy, it's fine. You don't need to come kill everyone. You can just go on back to space. All right, I heard from Mars they miss you. You got a heart container. Excellent. That brings us to 12. And then we also get this delightfully horrifying face. You've seized Twin Mold's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept in prison within the body of evil Twin Mold. It's kind of what we do. You know, Link. Very heroic. Sealing away demons. Healing and helping wayward souls. It's great, really. And this is the fourth and final one of the guardians all that remains after this is uh is skull kid himself uh which of course we're not going to do just yet well we've helped all of you that's all we can do <laughs> take it or leave it call us call us call us that's what they're saying indeed it's what they've been saying you know this without being told we understand so now you'll help us out in exchange We'll call you from atop the clock tower, so do something about him, all right? Please? What? Your voices sound sad. They don't... You don't want to? No, they don't. They're friends with School Kid. They just want to catch the moon. Because they're big and strong, and they have the massive foreheads requisite for such a feat. Forgive your Forgive our friend. They speak whale. Well. Who knew? What do you mean by forgive, huh? What friend? You know exactly what friend, don't you? Come now. Surely you've pieced it together by now, my girl. Oh, yes. Oh. What is that? Apparition. I... Hmm. That was five, too. I don't know what that was, but there were five beams of light that shot up to the sky, opening some sort of vortex, which cleared the area. Oh, no longer is the Valley of Akana the cursed land. Instead, it is just the desolate and dead land full of nothing but sand and graves. At least it's not terrorized by demons anymore. <laughs> oh, you might not be able to grow any crops here, gosh darn it, but you can sure as heck operate a music house. And you can also... Sure as heck, go to the fairy. The fairy live in one of these huts, right? I think. Let's check this out. The fairy, hut fairy? Fairy the hut, hello. It's Link, he's got the rest of your bod. So please uh, unite and give us my favorite great fairy present of all. Well, except for, of course, the magic, as I mentioned a few episodes back, but of the four great fairies at the various temples, this is my favorite reward. Oh, compassionate young one, I am the great fairy of kindness. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I grant you the fairy sword. It's friggin' huge! Smack thanks with it, you got the fairy sword! The great fairy sword specifically put some respect on its name. Set it to sea, use it with sea, with black roses etched into it. The great fairy sword is the most powerful of all blades. Come see me whenever you're overcome by weariness. Okay, see you later. See you later, indeed. And we will be wary 
at various points in time. Look at this. We have almost the entirety of the item screen. We're missing two bottles, I believe. And then I think this is like trading quest items or something. I don't actually know what goes on the right here, but something does. We're missing it. As for this screen, we're missing a heck of a lot more. In fact, it looks like one, two, three, eight, nine masks. Nine masks are missing, which isn't a whole lot, right? That's less than half. But that's what we're going to do next time. We're going to wield this giant freaking sword twice our size, and we're going to go get maybe not all of the masks in the immediate next episode, but that's exactly what we're going to be working on so that hopefully in a few episodes' time, we can go accost the Skull Kid. So I don't know how long this episode has been, but either which way, thank you so much for watching. It was a journey, and I'll see you next time.